Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to review my KS0 rewards for the last five days and KS3L rewards for the last three days. Um, the KS0 I've been mining on three different pools. Okay, so I have six of them, two set up for each pool so we can have proper da data. So, you know, like maybe one of them uh, doing better, one of them worse. So we have average better for per pool. So I have two KS zeros on each pool set up, right? And then um, five days reward. So what I did, I took this data and I average here for in the formula for the whole five days. And then we have divided that by two. So we create for each KS so rewards here in this column highlighted. So K1 pool gave us 105 Caspa a day. Uh, in average and then uh, Caspa pool gave us 103 Caspa a day for each KS0 and then Hump pool 108 Caspa a day. So uh, Hump pool for me worked the best in this case but if you look at daily rewards uh, there was a day where K1 pool reported the better rewards just and I believe this is because of the uh, payout delays or anything like that so there if you look just a one day only you may have the wrong information just because that delay was there and then you're gonna get less cusp on next day and see like so that's what happened here so it was a little bit less next day but a little bit more than this reward on hump pool and so forth so when i look at the average gives me better kind of understanding on each pool connection I have and then when I look at the data on the actual pool so like for k1 pool I look at the actual hash rate on the pool not on my miner so if I just gonna be considering my miner oh it looks like it's getting a hundred hashes you know giga hash or 106 average hundred so it looks like I should be getting a full rewards but in reality, in real life, I, I actually uh, need to see what, how the pool is doing there, right? And then um, that rejection rate sometimes kind of help you, but again, see there is no rejection here. However, it still did not perform as good as the hump pool for me, uh, just because the hash rate overall a little bit lower. So on K1 pool, my average was about 190, it dropped a little bit for 24 hours, but it was around 190, 91. And, uh, but before it was like 183, if you remember my previous videos, so um, it was a lot lower. That's why my rewards was lower. Rewards were lower, right? So uh, that's where we at with the Caspa pool. And then the Hump pool is actually one of the best for me because the average is the highest it's actually we're keeping 48 hour average sometimes at 202 giga hash which which pretty good so right now it's a little lower yeah so it's fluctuate back and forth so my average dropped to 198 it's still the highest from the all three pools so that's what you kind of want to look at your average at least 24 hours average and your a larger amount if you could have it on the pool like 48 hours I like that a lot better so you can understand where you are on the pool so uh, you may have better result on Caspa pool if you have this number 24 hours a lot higher so if you have like a, I've seen the other youtubers like great uh, greater good miner he has a great result on the Caspa pool just because he having a lot higher uh, hash rate here on his miners on Caspa pool that that means connection to your pool is essential so my guess is just for my area where I am uh, for this west coast uh, maybe somebody else here on the west coast may you know have some comments on this and have better maybe result on the uh, Caspa pool but I was not as lucky on uh, I tried before and two miners that was even worse okay so the two minor pool did for me a lot worse uh, before so um, kind of sticking leaning towards to hub pool for my mining on Caspa on KS zeros right now 
and KS3L. So let's go back to the uh, R sheet. So that's pretty much concludes for my uh, KS zeros mining, right? So I'm like, I'm gonna try maybe for a few more days on the K1 pool just to see how it goes. I actually liked it a little bit performance. So the um, Caspa pool definitely has a lot better. The dashboard nicer, you know, you have all this kind of crazy reports like that you have the price, you have the uh, uh, three hours, 24 hours, you have the earnings for one hour, three hours. So this is the actual earnings per uh, in hour in the week. And all these reports are so useful, which I like, but you know, regardless, it just, that's, you know, getting less Caspa, it's not gonna help me. Uh, the difference like five Caspa may seem like, hmm, it's really nothing, but you know, in the perspective, it's six miners. That's 30 Caspa. Let's do a quick calculation. 30 Caspa at today rate, let's say it's the uh, 30 Caspa times 3.6 cents, right? So that's dollar eight. So a dollar eight a day. What does that mean to me at my uh, 18 cents, the uh, power rate? I'm getting 32 cents, so I'm covering, I can cover three of my miners, right? But if you're on 10 cents, uh, your electricity at 10 cents, you're gonna cover all of them. So that's gonna cover basically your cost for electricity completely if you are in the right pool versus just getting, you know, 5% less or 4% less cost. So just pay attention, make sure your connection is good. It's not necessarily have to jump on hump pool uh, before I was thinking like, yeah, everybody needs just to go to hump pool and stuff like that and just stay there. No, well, that's not really true because if you're getting a really good uh, reports on the, on the pool where you are, that's where you should stay. Okay, so if you're getting your, if your great rewards, I mean, your uh, hash rates reported accurately and, and full rate on your pool where you're buying, just stay there, don't switch around because you're going to lose time. Every time you switch between the pools, you lose half an hour, sometimes an hour before you've to the full, back to the full rates, you know, you don't want to do that because the fluctuating on the, on the hash rate right now is going up frequently. So you don't want to lose time. So please stay where you are. If you are just check that, so that basically is, um, just to give you an idea where, where I am. So you could check your stats and just to make sure you're kind of making the right decision. So now let's go to the KS3L. So that's a little bit more interesting data for the last three days. So if you remember, I don't know if uh, I have last video about the KS3L, I put one on my um, hum pool and one was on Casper pool. And I thought like, okay, let's give it a three days. So on my first day, I actually mine a thousand I want to say a thousand less caspa which was like insane i was like what i don't want to do that so when you have this bigger miners and you're losing a thousand caspa right so let's say you lose a thousand caspa even at today uh, ray that's 36 dollars that's a lot more than my electricity uh what is let's take a look at 18 cents right now i am paying 11 dollars so 36 that's gonna pay me three days of electrical rate for these miners right or um that's why we don't want to lose time on that and keep on switching around so now i have three days for these two miners being on the humble different wallets uh, so i set up different wallet on each so we can have stats individual stats for each uh, of these miners so look at these three days on my first one that i got i start getting a little bit less caspa than my second one which was performing on caspa pool a lot worse okay so my second one when i just connected on caspa pool was like doing pretty bad excuse me now we are getting the average 5380 on my second one, 53.29. On my first one, that's about 50 Casper difference. 
So I'm basically getting on my second case trial 50 cast per day more on the same exact pool at the same time. So I'm not switching them around. They're stable there. At first I thought maybe there is something wrong with my uh, first one. I did restart it. So I just to make sure I could get a better maybe a hash rate there. But no. Well, let's take a look in the uh, rate. So our first one has a 48 hours range, 5.9 terahash. It was 5 terahash here before for a couple days and then it started dropping a little bit but you know it's fluctuate so you see it's like 4.81 it's one hour 5.8 terahash so it is all over the place but for my second one ks3l my uh average is five terahash for 48 hours right now which probably gonna drop too so i don't know well i'm just gonna monitor this so you could just see how it's still a lot better than Casper pool on the Casper pool on my KS3 LA was getting four point I want to say 4.4 4.5 4 giga hash which was horrible that's where I lost like about six percent I believe the reward so let's take a look on my um, ROI over here real quick so I did update this sheet and now we are hovering around 15 pentahash, right guys? It was for the last three days, it went to 15 and a half, dropped to 14 and a half. So we are between 14 and a half and 15 right now. I believe it's about, just about 14 and a half right now. Uh, if we look at the uh, different sites, websites, I like to check the Caspa, KAS.FYI really nice it's kind of like real-time monitoring 14.5 pentahash right and then if we go to the f2 miners refresh there we probably around see 14.68 pentahash and so on so they're all stats report pretty close together not too big of a difference and um, yeah so I have to put 15 pentahash for right now and that's where I have for my uh, reward profitability so my six ks zeros right here i put the date when it's going to arrive and this is actually not even close to accurate it's based on today rewards today hash rate and today block rewards which is 185 caspa per block it's going to change in about nine days we're going to go to 175 here and look just by changing that we're going to increase our days dramatically here 135 186 186 251 251 let's change look 143 198 so we almost add in like same percentage five and a half percent for the days ROI and so forth and with the hash rate going up with the block rewards changes we're going to be seeing that uh days going for ks0 really high so as um, what I did here I created a little different calculator um, I believe a greater good miner show a really nice calculator where you put all the data in uh, not sure how they calculate that whole uh, projection of the uh, hash rate going up and at the same time the caspa block reward because i didn't see their uh, heat on the caspa block reward every six of the months or seventh of the months right so here is my uh, calculator for your roi so let's do a little sample let's let's look at the couple uh, things let's look at the k0 right so let's put the k0 price right now well let's not just add any ship in anything so it's 5.99 uh, on Ice River like uh, website, right? So if we go to iceriver.no, io.io, I'm sorry, so it's gonna be 5.99. Obviously gonna pay for shipping for your, um, uh, the uh, P, P, uh, PSU, right? So you can actually connect them how I did in previous video, just directly to your um, hardware that you have from GPU to your server PSUs. And uh, 
try to work like that or just get them with the PSU. So let's just pretend it's 599, it's a hundred giga hash. Uh, if you, let's say you receive by September 1st, uh, my power rate obviously 18 cents. Yours may be, uh, let's do let's do 11 just to get average because we're gonna hit that soon. And then 65 bots here. And then the Casper price around 36, I think it dropped to 35 uh, recently, right? So let's say 35 cents. So our ROI day is not gonna happen, not available, just because if we scroll down, we're gonna start getting negative somewhere. Um, yeah, we don't get it by the even in three years. So, well, let, let's take a look how I'm calculating this. Um, so for the next increase in the hash rate, I calculated it's gonna be one and a half percent hash rate increase. How did I do that? Roughly I looked at the increases per day right here through the through the last couple of weeks. So we, we've been like between 2%, 3%, so lately zero. 0.5% increase. So those are increases in the hash rate and the, uh, just to compare it to K0. So let's take a look and um, compare that uh, here. So what I did is like, okay, let's pretend we're going to be increasing hash rate from September 1st. We hit like 16 pentahash and then we're going to go from there. So we're going to be one and a half percent increase every day until 20 pentahash. So we're going to hit 20 pentahash on the September 16. All right. This is not going to be very accurate because we never know how quickly we're going to get. We can get 20 pentahash you know, just maybe uh, next week when all this uh, another shipments came, gonna come up and then everybody's gonna connect their KS3s. I don't know. So, but anyways, uh, let's say to 20 pentahash, we're gonna be going to one and a half rate. After that, we're gonna be 1% going until 30 pentahash and then half percent increase every day all the way until 40 pentahash and then after 40 pentahash around end of the year will be slowly going let's say one percent and the reason for that because rewards not going to be high unless some different equipment going to come up and that's going to just kill everything else so there going to be a higher increase but let's just pretend it's going to be after that it's going to be just you know 0.1 percent increase after that so that give us perspective. So first of all, we're using here, I'm not just using only in this calculator hash rate increase prediction, but also the block reward change. So we're calculating at 185 until um, September 6th. So then we hit 175 Casper per block and then 165 Casper per block and so on. So this calculator includes takes in consideration all these drops in CASPA reward, which is very important as well. Okay, so let's the uh, take a look at the other miners. So it looks like the KS0 here is not going to be a really well choice because we are not going to have our right day for the next three years. So this is like a up to calcul and we can extend this calc there. I just got tired to going all the way like almost to the uh, and of 26, I need to update all this. Uh, it's kind of easy to update, but just need to update my um, uh, Casper rewards here per right per day. Uh, wait, yeah, right here. So we need to 51.91, and then it's going to be a new Casper reward. So that's that's my goal, just to update that, just to kind of get this calculator going and this could be just going to infinity anyway we don't want to go that far because the you know we can't predict Casper price for that long and stuff so it's it's been at 3.5 cents which is could change quickly um, and we play with the with the Casper price as well but let's let's take a look at the other uh, miner let's say we want to check our KS2 
3M, which they come out with, it's going to be 6 terahash, 3400 watts, 1799. Let's put some data in here, right, for KS3M. 17,999. And again, it doesn't include shipping and all, so you got to add that, but just that's just going to give us idea. And the cash rate, 6,000 giga hash power rate let's say 11 and then 3400 watts 3.5 cents for casper rate so we're gonna ROI april 20th next year if we buy it and receive it by september 1st uh, not sure if you can get out quickly it's probably gonna be delayed by about 10 days so it's the possibility you can get by september 10th so that's gonna in average you know uh, drop you let's say we put September 10th here yeah so it will be end of April roughly right over here so uh, let's keep September 1 here just so for the reference so we can guess where our percentage drops and all because it doesn't ch switch actually I haven't designed it so it's you know moves everything together with the dates but it gives you idea at 3.5 cents. Well, let's do the 5 cents. Let's say Caspa went 5 cents. We actually gonna ROI four months earlier for this Caspa KS3M miner. That's interesting, right? Well, let's say it's gonna drop to 2.5 cents where it was before on a trend down and we're not gonna get hit the ROI within the next two years. So that's crazy. Uh, let's say 27, let's see where we're gonna ROI. Yeah, so see like, if it's 2.7 cents, we're gonna ROI somewhere on the January 9th, 2025, in about a year and a half almost, right? So that's crazy, that's where we at with the CASPA. So he, the predictions is really complicated your power cost uh, can be figured, hash rate can be figured, the price can be figured. There is two items that you cannot exactly know, you just have to guess, is your CASPA price, that's where we're gambling, and obviously the hash rate on the CASPA network. So from 16 tera hash, we can go to 20 in two weeks, we can go in the one week. You've seen that before, it happened before from like, you know, from one tera hash, to 15 terahash just in two months so it's possible that it could go quicker if the new miner is going to be released and again bitman releasing their nine ter giga hash terahash nine terahash miners so that's going to increase the hash rate depending on how many those miners going to be produced and ordered so it's really a lot of variances there right so but at least it gives you a kind of idea where you are with all these uh, predictions and rate. Uh, just let me know if you like this calculator, how it works, how I set up. I did wanna really take um, block reward in, into consideration because that falls every month, five, five and a half percent falls down. I don't know if the other calculator used that into consideration and then also the hash rate increase. Now you can change this by, let's say, well, there's new miners coming up, so it's gonna be actually 1.6% increase for the next, uh, wherever, a couple months. So look at this. If that increase is gonna happen and we're gonna go to the, such a high rate, ROI gonna move us to five months. So that's really is the question, what's gonna be percentage of the increase, right? So see from f April 20th to the September, uh, that's about five months difference, just only on a half percent mm -hmm. increase per day. So you have to consider a lot of items, a lot of things into, the, into this calculator, but that just give you idea on the uh, making decision, like how risky it is if you want to really invest in the uh, in those uh, A6 miners right now. And obviously, like with the higher rates, see, like on 18 cents, 
I am like losing two months to ROI, which is big almost, or one and a half months, right? Compared to the 10 cents, 10 cents, 4.15, 18 cents. Uh, so 4.15 to the six one at 18 cents. So one and a half months just to get to the same um, ROI. So I hope this helped you to make decision um for your uh if you still like thinking should i purchase one there's new miners coming in uh bitman cam uh actually coming up with this model of ks3 9.4 giga 9.4 tera hash it's a 9400 giga hash 9.4 tera hash at 3500 watts which is insane so this one is the um a crazy uh, miner, but it's 42,000. Is it worth it? I don't know. This is the prices per giga hash. So for the KS3M seems to be the best. It's only $3 per giga hash you pay for this miner, uh, where KS3L is about 340, KS3 about 375 and so forth and KS zeros even at that 599 mark is still like six dollar per giga hash so the highest it's almost double the that ks3m you're gonna pay so the ks zeros is just a small item to gamble easier to kind of swallow this number 599 not a big deal of course if you buy in this ks3 for thirty thousand, it's a huge risk but then your price per uh Giga hash a lot lower, right? So the KS3M, I think it's the best purchase per Giga hash. However, just do your own research before you buy it. I'm not recommending buying any of those miners. I'm just doing that review so you get idea where you're at and where you can get with this. And um, I'll be still doing this kind of average reports for myself, just so I can keep track. It's for me just interesting where I'm getting with this. Uh, where I'm selling at and then where I'm gonna ROI if I sell at the rate right now it's kind of like dropping to 35 cents right I actually didn't update this it was 33.6 cents now it's 33.5 cents yeah look it just changed in those days by a lot just the price change alone it also breaking my uh, ROI further and further so as of today, KS3M has the best 85 days ROI with the two date CASPA rate. Uh, and obviously, I know it's this one is not taken in consideration for your uh, block reward changes every month, but this one does. So if you take a look at KS3M here uh, with the hash rate changes and block reward changes you're actually gonna be going somewhere in between six seven eight months to ROI probably all right so nobody can say for sure because we don't know the price Casper price how it's gonna change and we don't know how the how quickly hash rate gonna change in the future but just from data we had before that's kind of calculating how many miners can hit the network and what percentage uh, going to be adding each day to the network. So we'll see if this is even close to accurate or not. So I'm just interested, like in the next two weeks, look at this. I'm not. I'm going to save it. I'm not going to do anything. No changes. Let's just leave it as as it is, and then we go back to it. Let's say September 16, where I thought it's going to be 20 pentahash, right? So and see where we are on the network so it will be something interesting to look anyways uh sorry for the long video i hope this helped you to make uh, decisions for our casper rate it's around 14.5 pentahash right now with the price actually it's went to 36 cents but i don't know if you can sell it quickly at 36 3.6 cents sorry um, so that's where we at well thanks for watching uh, we'll see you on the next update uh, probably coming in uh, maybe a couple more days I'll do another update for seven days average and we'll go from there then I'll be uh, switching some miners probably KS zeros around 
to the other pools okay all right thank you have a good day see you in the next one